Hello, I'm Jim Gifford, Leader of the Council, and each year I take the opportunity to record a short video message to outline the main impacts of the budget to you. We have the responsibility for setting a budget of over £500 million to ensure that the people of Aberdeenshire receive important local services, but the public sector is receiving less and less money each year to deliver those services. Next year we will receive what is known as a flat cash settlement. That means we will get the same share of money as we did last year. This means no extra money to deal with inflationary costs to services or tackle areas of growth and pressure. And we'll have to manage these costs within our existing budgets. The Council's budget for 2014-15 will remain fairly static. We will maintain a freeze on Council tax. We will maintain teacher numbers in line with pupil numbers and we will secure places for all probationers who require one under the teacher induction scheme. Most staff won't see much difference in funding from the current year. We are very aware of the importance of setting a clear vision for the future and in the year ahead councillors will work alongside the management team to take a close look at what we're doing and what budgets are required to support that activity. We already know we'll have less money to deliver services between 2015 and 2019, around £49 million pounds, to be exact. Reshaping and refocusing our services for the future needs to be carefully planned and every one of us has a part to play in considering how best to do this. Our vision is to be the best in Scotland and our core outcomes are lifelong learning, strong and sustainable communities, caring for communities and public sector excellence. We will use these outcomes to shape our financial plans for the future. Our vision is not just about money, it's about the type of place we want and how the Council can influence and shape this through our business. We will consider our services and see how they fit with our priorities, deciding what needs enhancing, reducing or needs to be stopped altogether. Our future is in our hands. We must think innovatively and work with partners to shape today's services so that they are fit for the challenges to come. I would like to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for the work that you do. I know that the services you deliver can be challenging at times. You provide valuable services to the people of Aberdeenshire and focus on those who need help the most in our communities and that is never taken for granted. So thank you for your continued commitment and hard work in delivering services on behalf of Aberdeenshire Council and thank you for listening.